So we're now in a position where we can go to pictures to exe Now we've created all our folders, we've populated the folders with data that we need for the, the show. So those are the, the pictures with a board around them, some audio track, uh, any videos that we may wish to include. And so now we're going to create the show. But before we do that, we need to get an appreciation as to the interface of pictures to exe So here we can see pictures to exe and I've opened it up and it's remembered the previous show that I'd been creating. And this is the, the show that I use as the intro video. So we can use that just to have a quick look around um, because it's, been, it's already populated some of the areas. So just like most programs, if you look at the, along the top, we've got the menu items and it's worth just looking through these items and seeing what commands and controls we've got available. Here we've got project options. We need to go to the project options when we're creating a new show. Slide, settings, and at the bottom here we've got preferences. And th this determines how pictures to exe works. So we need to set that up as well. And if we go to help, we've got the online user guide. So that is fairly comprehensive. It's worth having a good look through the online user guide. You've got a, a sample project, and it's, wor it's worth looking through that project to understand how a lot of the features work. And we can have a look at that a bit later. Can check for updates and a few other things. Okay, so that's the, those are the menu items. Along here, we've got the upper left toolbar. Okay, the upper right toolbar the bottom left toolbar and we've got some more data along the bottom here. Now this here is what we what they call the file tree and these are the file lists. The file lists. So we've got it's basically a Windows Explorer so this, these are the resources on the computer so the folders and the contents of the folders are here. So this is where we find the data that we wish to populate our project, which will appear down here. So this down here, the, the slide list here, these are the images that are in our, uh, in our show. And in here, this is the audio. And if I just scroll along here, you can see that there is a bit of audio within this particular show and you can add multiple audio tracks. You can actually move a, a track to create another track. Okay, so you can have multiple audio tracks within a show. You can only have one uh, image track. Let's just scroll along there. This here is what's called the mini viewer. And if we select an image here, so this is this is potential data to go into the show. We can get a representation here. If we click on audio files, uh, video files, there's a couple of video files I've included there. Select one, press play. You can play the video. Stop. Sounds. There's a WAV file. We can play the WAV file. Okay, so the mini player is it's our feedback for what is what we want to look at, uh, bring into the show, and also if we select down here in the timeline, we see the slide underneath the cursor in the mini viewer, and again we can press play. Oh, there's no sound there. I'll just stop that. Move it to an area in the timeline. Select there. So we can see the slide beneath the cursor. Press play. And this was demonstrating an MP3 soundtrack. On to the next. Okay. So the mini viewer is our feedback for whatever we're trying to uh, 
view or listen to. You can see that I'm scrolling backwards and forwards here. We can also use the mouse wheel, so forward and back, so we can move the timeline forward and back here. If we just drag this to the left, we can see that the timeline starts at zero. Five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, okay? We can change the, like the magnification of this timeline by pressing the control key and then using the mouse key, uh, mouse uh, wheel. Okay, so you can see it's all squished it up together. So we've got like eight minutes here. Control key, do it the other way. And we've seen a, a highly magnified area of the timeline. We can change the vertical dimensions here. I'll just go back to our music. Little area there. And if we press the shift and control key, move the mouse wheel, you can see that the vertical dimensions change, which means that our little thumbnails change size as well. And if we do it in the, in the music track, soundtrack, we can do the same again. So that's shift and control and just using the the mouse wheel there to change the, the dimension. This is important if you've got a fairly small screen and if we start to add music tracks, um, you might want to say, so just drag that to another, drag that to another like that, and then shift control. Okay. And this can be important if you're say changing the volume so you can see that these like nodes keep key points that have been put on the envelope and you can see these this represents the volume different change just like that envelope the disappear select and you can change the volume of a track by clicking and making notes okay so you can see what I've done here play down so the the volume can be changed using the envelopes here okay so let's just put these back to where they were I can just drag this down so we've got a bit more space up here so this is the timeline view and you can see the timeline but uh, we have another view here called slides. And this is where the, the, the music track disappears. But we just see the slides, the individual slides of the show. And here, if we look here, we've got A, B. This is the transition, A to B, A to B. And the duration of the slide, um, the transition, is here. And if you remember, at the, well, at the beginning of the show, um, I've, I've set it at half a second say uh, in this particular show and you can see the tra transition between this a to b is half a second half to and if we select one image just press play you'll see that the after a duration of 5.5 seconds you've got half a second transition this slide duration 5.5 seconds 5.5 seconds here the, i've changed the duration so this is a 1.5 seconds transition to a six second slide. This one lasts for 22 seconds. And initially it had a two second transition. Okay. So this gives you feedback as to the transition time and the duration of the slide. And if we look at it in the timeline, you'll see that it's represented by different lengths of slide okay so let's just go here if we wanted to change the duration in the timeline all we need to do is click on the right hand image and it says, it says this one that we want to change that maybe shorten it you select that image and just drag it to the left okay I'll just undo that if we were to go to the in between between the two slides, what we do is we keep the, the slide there 
and the slide there in those positions, but we change the relationship of the time between this image and this one. So if we go to this image here, you can see the slides at either side of those two remain in the same position on the timeline, but the image slide on the left change well it's been reduced in time and the image here is increased in time so that's by doing it at the trans, uh, the the junction there but if you wish to change the um, duration of this slide without changing the duration of that you then select this image and drag that and you can see all the images to the right move appropriately okay Let's go back to the slides view. So this is really useful for when we want when we're creating the show. What we need to do is say this is the area of the resources within the computer. So if you wish to bring stuff into the show, let's go to the introduction again. All you need to do is click and drag into the slide list here and it will add it add the image to the slide list and you can see all the images to the right of where I drop the image moves appropriately to the right okay so you can drag and drop them or you could drag and drop the whole lot into here let's click and drag all of those okay so you can keep adding them so these are, this is our source of data and this is the show that we're creating. If we don't want any of these in here, I'm going to select that one, shift, select that one, press the delete key, and they disappear. They don't disappear from the computer, they just disappear from the show that you're creating. And to organize these, it's best to go to slides and go to here, it's like a light table. And within here, just like just like we could move slides around in here, Control Z, put it back. We can do it far more easily in here. So there's the beginning slide. We could put that towards the end. Just click and drag it. Okay, and all the slides shuffle around to compensate for that change. So we can select multiple slides. That one, shift, that one, drag that to the end of the show. Okay, and they all shuffle around appropriately. Control Z to undo that. Okay, so this is where you can sort out your images, select that one, delete. It's removed from the show. Control Z just to bring it back. Okay, so that is the ideal way of sorting through your images, putting them into a sequence for the show to get back to the timeline view let's just go to there click on timeline and there we have it and we can just drag the cursor press play and you can see transition in timeline view you can also change the transition so as well as changing the duration which we've seen by click and dragging so we're changing the duration of that slide there we can change the transition duration so now if we go to here click on play we'll have a very long transition effect there so you can affect it there control Z undo so that is a quick overview of this interface but we also have down here the project options the slide options so this is to do with dissolves transition effects slide durations so this is to do with individual slides we've got slide styles where we can apply some quite artistic effects to either a single image or multiple images depending on what we want to do this one here is portraits which I showed you a little bit earlier on you need to select three images to add to this portraits 
slide style. Okay. And you've got objects and animation here. And this is where we can really create some good effects. Zooms, pans, add text. We can bring in video. We can create masks and some really advanced features can be created in this objects and animations pane. So that is a, a, a quick overview of the P pictures to XE interface.